All right, so uh, yeah, now that we've established this notion of the uh, template trees, uh, we want to formalize or concretize the learning problem statement. So this is an inductive logic, inductive logic, pro or logic programming, so a huge focus is the learning problem. So we're given the collection of the first order logic predicates from the knowledge base. So those will contain actually a list of uh, more or less explicit facts. And the fact can be thought of as a variable assignment that basically, or a partial variable assignment that makes the predicate. Uh, and then we'll also have labels for these possible target uh, predicates specifically for the predicates that are going to be our, like I said, the target predicates. So the one that our eventual logic program is attempting to find. Uh, finally, we have the logic program template that Pablo was describing, and this is encoded in the net as logical, uh, as like an LNN, basically, uh, and is the tree structure. And we're attempting to find an assignment of knowledge-based predicates to these placeholder predicates within the tree. So these are, you can think of them as abstract tree predicates, and we're attempting to assign real knowledge-based predicates to them. All right, so about the above two steps are the ones that Pablo was talking about earlier. And so now we're down here on three. So you can see the abstract tree down here on three. Uh, it's the S, V, O, P, and Q. Uh, so you can think of S, P, or sorry, S, R, O, P, and Q. And you can think of those as the abstract predicates. And specifically, so P, Q, and O are our leaf nodes. And those are the predicates, but we are actually trying to find predicate maps for that. R, our intermediate node, uh, and throw, you know, your tree could have many of these intermediate nodes are operators. So these are, we'll talk a little bit more about the characteristic functions that define these operators, uh, but they're similar, it uses the mechanism similar to LNNs. And uh, our target node, or what we eventually want our program to be able to produce, is uh, denoted as S, and we call that the root node of the tree. Okay, and so basically, once we find these assignments, we effectively have, first of all, we have seen that our knowledge base can actually represents a logic program. It can be rep sorry, our knowledge base can be represented by a logic program. And one thing that the authors point out that I think is really good to hit on is that this problem can also be seen as learning structure among these predicates. So when we start this process, the predicates themselves are all kind of treated on equal footing, and we assign them to the we can move them around from the tree to see what structure best represents the data. So you can think of it as learning the structure among these predicates. 